Well, good morning, DIYers. <clears throat> Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make a twin size platform bed. Uh, my daughter recently asked for one, so I'm going to have her help me make one. And you want to stick around towards the end. There will be a cost of how much it cost me to do this. There will be a material list as well as a cut list for you. And uh, so, that uh, being said, now you can adjust this these plans for a full size, a queen size, king size, whatever. Just know that the larger you go, you'll have to um, compensate with the right or the right amount of, of, of lumber as well as legs. Now in this video we're using hairpin legs. You could use wooden legs. You could make your legs out of two by two lumber, anything. But this is quick and easy. We're using hairpin legs. So my, uh, this first clip, I've measured my um, long side. Each long side was 74. I've measured those and let's get to it. Okay, I got both my boards cut at uh, 73 and three quarter ish. Um, now every plan you see tells you to butt the cross pieces up like this. That and use Craig jigs or a strap or something. That is crap. Okay, I'm sorry. That is the crappiest joint you could have. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a uh, half lap and i'll show you how but it will be a much stronger connection much more permanent and it won't break on you down the road other other so-called diyers chic diyers crap breaks that they never show you so um now i want i mark this as my top board i want to it's it's nice and clear it's got a little bit of marking right here that will sand off probably won't do nothing with this this will be hidden by the um, mattress then we're going to have a uh, one by three right here uh, that will be probably stained so even though this is our top one I'm going to put the half lap on the bottom turn this over mark it two by six width and cut the half lap and I'll show you how I'm going to do that okay to get my half lap uh, where I want it I'm just putting a cut off piece of 2 by 6 here across here and it does not look like it's square but let's check it real quick it wasn't now it is and then we're going to mark this still doesn't look square right, well we got to go by the what Mr. Speed Square says and it says it's square oh I know what it was so I'm going to mark this and this is and then we're going to take our saw we're going to adjust the desktop and we're going to cut a series, score a series of holes here. We want about half the depth of, we want about half the depth. We only want to cut about half of this. And let me get my saw adjusted and be right back. Okay, as you see, I got my saw adjusted. I'm going to make some scores like I showed you and I'll take a wood chisel and chip, uh, chisel that out and it'll leave me about a half the thickness of that 2 to 6 Okay, here's our um, curve cuts. As you can see they only went about halfway through. Now, the closer you make them together, the better it will be, the smoother your finish uh, joint will be. So, um, I left two kind of wide right there. but. These all break off, and all I do to start is just to as 
rotate it. And you can see. Whoop. Whoop. It's not perfect, but it's a lot better than if you left big wide curves. not a bad joint. I'll get my um, chisel out here. We'll work on this. Get these high spots down. Right there, we just broke it off. So, yeah, we'll um, we've got several more to do. So we'll get all these done and come right back. Okay, I've got all the um, half joints cut, half laps cut I got them cleaned up as much as I can with a chisel I'm waiting for my gopher to get back with some uh, 60 grit to uh, put a rough sanding on them and uh, yeah so we can uh, get a little tighter joint right there um, got my one by threes cut these will go on the side. Now the alcove is, is 74 inches long. So I have no room to bring this trim trim piece this way. So it'll be open. Um, because the mattress is 74 too. So I've got these cut. These will sit here. The mattress will sit down inside this frame. Inside the frame there. And um, this, this, this will show. These, these will not show and I just realized I have these upside down a um, couple things about your half joint uh, always put the good side I'm on the good side facing so these this is actually the bottom of the bed frame because it has all the grade marks on it um, let me get this out of the way is pretty clear I do have a grade mark up there but uh, and this will be the side that shows and your bottom one your bottom one will go up like this I think that's my gopher so um, it's fun working out of the back of your tailgate in an apartment complex in a garage apartment so um, another thing when you cut your 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 curse i mean your um uh, cut your joint out go all the way through with your saw it's real common for people to stop and then they have this little triangle edge because the saw blade did not go um the center of the saw blade the deepest part did not go all the way through so make sure you do that saw all the way through and you'll get a pretty nice joint and um, you can clean these up with sandpaper or planer you know this here would probably be good enough just the way it is but i just want to get the joints a little bit tighter before i screw now i would like to glue this glue and screw this but she wants this so it can be taken apart in the future when she moves so i'll probably come back with five i'm thinking five inch and a half uh screws to hold each joint together so that's where we're at right now let me uh make some more cuts another thing about your uh half laps once you set your saw depth get all your boards cut to length first before you start on this because once you set your saw depth do not move it or you will have different depths of um, joints um, I, i've seen people do it time and time again yeah they can get close but their joints are always just even if it's just an eighth off and, and it, it's just so much easier to keep yourself the same depth till you get all your joints uh cut so okay let me uh, do some more assembling here 
the one by fours I got will be the slats that will go across. So I'm just waiting for my saw paper, a saw paper, <laughs> sandpaper, so I can clean these joints up and we can get them screwed in. Then I'll bring you back. I'm using trim screws to uh, that will um, secure the one bys, one by threes to the top of the one by sixes. Um, so anyway, let me get that done. I'm about ready to pull my pickup out and start working on the garage floor here. So let me get all this taken care of and bring you right back. Okay, got laid out on the floor, got my truck moved. <laughs> laid out on a flat surface. We're squaring it up. You can use the um, speed square, it's all right. You can use framing square. I usually use speed square and then double check it with tape. We were a little out of square, but um, I put two screws in the, these in, this end, each, and one at that end until I got it square. And then I put the other four in each corner. I'll come back and put the other um, three in these. Five screws per corner once you get it squared up. Okay, we got the little um, one by threes on the side. Now, like I said, the mattress will fit down beside uh, inside that. And I wish, like I said, the alcove is exactly 74 inches deep um, or long, how you want to. I wish I could have came out another five inches right there and then mitered these corners and made it look a lot better. But the ends will never be seen because they are going to be hid by wall. So. So uh, let me get the slats in and show you how that works. Okay, we're going to put a slat every every 12 inches, starting right here at the head. It will be one here. You see where I got them laid out there? There's one, there's another, and there's another. On this particular bed, it's going to be seven slats, and I'm going to use one by fours for that. Now, before I go much further, I had tossed around the idea about adding a center support, and I think I'm going to do that. And the way I'm going to do that is to use a two by four and I'm going to half lap that connection as well. Uh, I'll flip it over and um, let me get to that and I'll show you how we're going to do that. Okay, since our overall width is 43 inches, I come halfway, which is 21 and a half. Uh, is that right? Yeah, 21 and a half. Mark the center on each end. And now I'm going to get my two by four and bring my two four in and, and mark off where I will be cutting that half lap on each side. Easy peasy. Okay, just about goofed. <laughs> yeah, your half laps go on top of the cross members and I flipped this over. Shouldn't have, should have left it up. So um, it will go on bottom of the two before and on top of the cross members. Not the way I've got it here. Now, I'm just kind of breaking one of my own rules here. Um, this has a grade on top, this 2 before 4 does, but if you, I don't know if you can tell or not, this has a natural bow up, and I do want the bow up on, since this is going to be a support for the slats, I do want the bow up, which is, I got lucky on these 2 by 6s because the natural bow was up on those. So, again, mattress is going to be on top of this. You'll never see it until you take the mattress off, but and if she wants to paint it she can paint it uh, or sand them off so um, i'm going to set my saw and we're going to cut the half laps there and on the ends of this two before okay got a two before support right in i think it's overkill for a twin bed but um, i was tempted to put one across here as well and half lap it across there but it's a twin bed. I really don't think it needs it. Plus, we're going to have those slats. So, that's not the tightest half lap joint, but it's a twin bed, okay? It's not um, Norm Abrams um, platform bed. <laughs> okay, I got put three screws in each end. And now, I'm ready for the slats. Slats are 38 inches. I've marked it off every, starting here, every foot. And so it's going to take seven down through here, across here. So let me go get those cut 
and I'm going to screw them in. I'm just not. I'm not going to just lay them in. I'm going to put a screw in each end, probably right in the middle. So let me get that uh, all taken care of, and I'll get back with you when I get that done. Okay, joy apartment. Somebody's alarm going on. Okay, got the slats in now. Uh, I'm going to screw them. Well, uh, this actually didn't turn out the way I thought. Um, for some reason, I was thinking the slats would be below the the sides. But that's fine. It's set on well, top now. As luck would have These it, my trims ex, will still show. Uh, found some and that's cool. Legs so at Hobby probably worked out better this way. They were regularly there. It is ninety nine. Uh, so you can see and I just put one on screw in each end, so we one in the middle, nine of these and that may be I a little got that slot, for so twin bed, but so, these boards will uh, flex more than what you can take it in, see so if it fits, nine, like I said, and they, I don't know why I, I think it earlier, okay. the mattress so would fit it down plenty sturdy where, where the nine. slats are, maybe I was um, thinking without slats it would up, now, who cares, it's going to set on top of it, so basic platform bed, now all we're waiting on is for the mattress to come in, then we'll get the height that we need, because she has a window seal that she wants the top of the mattress to be, and once I know that distance, then we can order the hairpin legs. We're going to put hairpin legs on this. She's going to stain this. She's going to sand it uh, and stain the sides. She may stain more. I don't know, but just the size okay, the, that it will uh, show. Total so project cost for I'll this uh, show you when we get the bed. final, final, about, final product. But it's less than right now, bucks. this is your base. I'm fixing to take it in the house and she'll start using it. So, half that price, uh, but, but this is a, your basic uh, so, platform bed. The hairpin legs were on sale at Hobby Lobby for five bucks a piece. Uh, they are 10 inch hairpin legs. Probably could have found them cheaper on Amazon. And I'll leave a link below to these legs so you can uh, find them also so there you go really simple project that uh, me and my daughter worked on it was fun to work uh, on a project with her so don't forget to like and subscribe share this video uh, with others please and you help the channel out so donald for blue collar diy we're out of here